Quantum Conversations, your portal to the inner realms. Access infinite possibilities, infinite mastery, and infinite love. Mind-expanding, heart-opening conversations with some of the greatest spiritual teachers, luminaries, and healers of today's world. Usher in new earth by living in your sacred heart. Quantum Conversations is brought to you by AcousticHealth.com, home of music from the universe, online healing retreats, and this program. Claim your free registration to daily shows at AcousticHealth.com. AcousticHealth.com, your portal to the inner realms. Our program starts shortly. Welcome to another Quantum Conversation, brought to you by AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey, and I invite you to sit back as we enter the Quantum Realm, that space of the greater part of you. It is your connection to infinite possibilities, infinite potential, and infinite mastery. And as we talk about mastery, we are here to embody your mastery as creator. My guest today is Rihanna Ahrens, and she brings forth the Seraphim system and the six codes of initiation to embody your mastery as creator. I am so pleased to introduce everyone to this beautiful being and learn more about the Seraphim order. Brianna, thank you for being here. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Lauren. It's such an honor to be, you know, here with you, with you and your community today. So I'm, I'm really excited for what's to come during the call today. Tell us, please, this is very interesting. How did you come to work with the Seraphim Order? Wow. So my journey has been an extensive one. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm going to give you just a brief overview of um, how my journey had led up to this point. Um, yeah. So basically, um, I incarnated in this into this reality as a severely empathic child. I didn't know it at the time, but I had I was very, very sensitive and, and I had a lot of my gifts was already activated. I was clairsentient, clairaudient, cognizant from a very young age. And so um, ever since I came into this reality, I never felt like I really fit in. Something was just felt off to me. And I would look at, you know, my parents and, and, and the people around me. And I didn't, it's almost like I didn't um, align with what they were believing at a very, very young age. And, you know, unbeknownst to my parents, they also did not heal any of the um, wounding and the blockages. Um, and so what, what had happened there was as from the age of five, um, I can't remember the, the exact age, but I think it was five or eight years old. Um, that's when my life basically shifted to a whole other level. Um, this was the age where I uh, was sexually assaulted. Um, and this became a theme throughout my life. So I was brutally raped by multiple men throughout the duration of my childhood and my adolescence up until my early adulthood. Um, this had become a constant theme um, of, of trauma, of suffering that I endured as a child. And I, um, you know, I never knew why these things needed to happen to me. You know, I, I wanted to die over and over again. But every time I wanted to take my life, something happened that prevented me from taking my life. Um, and so, you know, I, on the, on the outside, people would view me as, you know, this good girl, um, perceived me in a certain way, but all those years I'd, be, I'd been keeping these secrets with me. My parents didn't know, my friends, my family. I'd been holding these secrets for so many years within my being um, until, until eventually, as I got, I got older, I finished high school um, and I got my first job. And I thought, okay, maybe now, you know, the, the, the suffering will end. Maybe now the darkness within my life will come to an end. Um, but that wasn't so. I, I constantly attracted people into my reality 
that would um, abuse me in, in, in some way or the other. Um, sexual assault was the big thing for me. It was a constant thing for me, as I've mentioned earlier. Um, and eventually at the early age of, I think my early 20s, I became so desperate. I had asked God, I'd asked the universe, you know, if you're not going to let me know why I need to be a, is it, am I here to suffer? Am I doomed to suffer? Why am I here? Then I would rather not be here. And I questioned the universe and I, and I became so desperate that I had um, eventually went for my first psychic reading. And um, the, what the psychic told me was that she said, Rihanna, <clears throat> your, not to sound cliche, but your healing hands will lead you into the direction of healing. And I didn't know exactly what it meant at the time because I wasn't familiar with healing. I didn't know I could heal. I knew I was gifted at, to a certain extent, but I didn't know what to do with it. And so this propelled me or inspired me to, to, to look a bit deeper into my purpose. And a few mm -hmm. days later, I had been Googling on the internet how to stop smoking because I was smoking at the time. And I came across this site called Healing Hands. And mm. for me, I found it synchronistic because I'm like, uh, she told me about healing hands a few days ago. Maybe this is a sign. And then uh, what healing hands was, was basically an academy that certified or trained people to becoming hypnotherapists and NLP practitioners. And um, I was very intrigued by that. That caught my attention. And so I eventually signed up and I took the class. I took the course and I became a certified hypnotherapist, NLP practitioner as well as I, I studied psychology. So I knew I wanted to help people, but I didn't know how. And I felt a bit of relief doing this, but there was still something missing. There was still this mystery to me as to who am I? Why am I here? Who, 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 we all, I, don't, I didn't know who we were. I didn't know why I was here. I didn't know what this entire planet was here for. I didn't know why we all came here. I had so many questions um, and eventually it propelled me to the next, uh, or the universe up-leveled me again, so to speak. And um, I had my second reading with another lady. And she said, Rihanna, when I tap into your energy, it feels as, as almost like, um, it's almost like you are a dolphin that were, was put into a bowl with goldfish and told to deal with it. And that was the exact feeling that I'd felt ever since I came here. It's almost as if I didn't fit in at all, I, and, and I tried so hard to fit in, I tried so hard to, to, um, to be approved of and to be accepted. And she also then told me that I would be writing books in the future and I will be doing healing work and things like that. I didn't believe it at the time because I didn't like writing, I didn't like reading either, but I kept it in the back of my mind. And eventually I dived into energy healing, I became a Reiki master, and my practice started, I started coaching uh, uh, clients on a you know, small time basis, basically. But then what had happened was one day I was in my room and it's as if something had come over me. It's as if I was propelled out of my body. And in this moment, it's like I was hovering above myself and I could see, my, I could see me narrating my life. I could see the higher aspect of myself dictating um, what I'm going to say, which path I'm going to go down, what's going to be happening in my life. And it's almost as if I received a download of truth, a remembrance of sorts. And I remembered in that moment that I was actually the creator of my reality and that we are all the creators of our own reality, that there's nothing outside of ourselves that, that is dictating our lives. We are subconsciously or consciously attracting to us, to ourselves, the realities that we are experiencing for the purpose of expansion, for, for the purpose of experiencing ourselves as creator in, in, in body or in form. And in that moment, I was in shock because I, I, this was, these were truths that I knew no one would believe if I told them. And, but, but I also felt a sense of joy because now I knew um, that they and it confirmed to me that there was so much more than what I've been conditioned to believe. And from that moment onwards, I knew that I had one um, one goal now, and that would be to unbecome every single thing that I've been conditioned to be, to release and 
um, let go of any falsities, any untruths within within my being that wasn't in alignment with the, the, the truth of my soul. And so for three years, I'd isolated myself um, completely, dived into healing myself for three years. And um, I accessed higher states of consciousness through meditation during that period. There were moments where I was on the floor and I was crying and I was bawling and I was just sitting and being with the traumas that I experienced, had experienced in my life. Um, and after the three years, I had been, was divinely guided to publish my book, which is, consists of my story told in its rawest form, as well as, as channeled activations and, you know, um, um, channeled texts in there. Um, and after I'd written the book, one day I was in meditation, I access, accessed higher states of consciousness, and I accessed my Akashic records. And I was shown by the Akashic guardian that where my soul originates from. And I was shown that I am a seraphim angel. Um, and that was my first you know, incarnation, my first embodiment, because the seraphim are the oldest uh, beings or embodiments of source ever, um, ever to be created. And then um, shortly after that, um, during meditation, I was approached and commissioned by the seraphim angels to basically bring forth the seraphim order program, which is an ancient uh, um, ascension blueprint. Um, and ever since then, I had just dived into completing the program. And now I am happy to say your community will be the first to 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 experience this program. It's really, really powerful. So I'm really excited to dive into that today as well. Thank you, Rihanna. That is such an incredible journey of the inner work, the inner healing that we do. Mm. When we look back and realize that we chose this lifetime, it's hard to think why in the world would we <laughs> ever choose to be a dolphin put in a goldfish bowl and told to deal with it? Yeah. Why would we choose? I mean, I love that metaphor. Why would we choose these experiences and you following the path, following mm. the path to the truth of your soul that is so beautiful? And, and what I find a, as a common thread is this link to Reiki. The Reiki, mm. <laughs> I've heard that so, I've seen so many people have that as a tremendous gateway. Yes. Right? Yes. Going three years, that number three, taking the three years to go so deeply within, to get those higher states of consciousness, that is a journey with a lesson for all of us to be the non judgmental observer. Yes. And to take the time to go into meditation, that stillness where you know what you know within. Can you share what that was like in that meditation when the seraphim came to you? So, well, it's, it's, I've never in my entire experience with higher beings of light experienced such a powerful um, energetic vibration when until that moment when I experienced the seraphim. Um, I've, I've had encounters and I've channeled ascended masters and angels and archangels, but until that moment of, of, of encountering and receiving the, you know, the, the accessing my consciousness as a seraphim, that was the most powerful energy I've ever experienced. And, and we will dive into more, but later as to why that is. But what I saw in that moment was they appeared to me that they, they, they are not in any fixed form. So they can shape shift according to how they would like to appear to us. But the most common way that they would appear to humanity is in the form of a dragon. And the, they are, they might look um, uh, like white dragons with white scales, but it's almost as if these scales are rainbow in color. It's, it's pearlescent. It's absolutely beautiful. And within each scale on the on the body, um, there's almost as if there's choirs singing with each within each scale of 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 the body of of the of the dragon of the seraphim, and they are absolutely majestic. I couldn't see the entire picture of them because they are so majestic that. 
parts of them would fade in and out. And so, but they have, I think, four sets of wings. I couldn't see all of them, but they have four sets of wings and absolutely majestic with these beautiful diamond-like eyes. And so that experience for me was absolutely so profound. And then having to having to, to access my consciousness as a seraphim shifted my, it shifted my journey um, in ways that I can't even express because in that one moment I'd been up leveled or, um, you know, um, I had experienced more of the truth of who I was than I ever had in my, in, in ta- in my entire journey up to that point. And so I'm so excited for everyone to just get a, a feel for the seraphim today because it's absolutely powerful. And um, the shifts that have already been taking place, I've, I've, the entire day today, I've been sitting and I've been, ex- I've been having this releases within my throat. So my voice has been a bit croaky. And that mm-hmm. usually happens when a lot, of, a lot of releasing is happening. So a lot of releasing is already happening for your community today. Um, and especially because today is also a full moon. Um, so it's a wonderful time for us now to release what needs to be released. So I'm really excited. Wow. And yes, I want to give a little background and a little insight for everyone's perspective. By the way, it's going to be so beautiful. We're already feeling the energy of the seraphim, just that yes. description. And for you and I to come together for this call, for our beautiful community, um, I had to go through a little energy upshift, I believe, because we didn't Mm. meet when we were due Mm. to meet. So this is very interesting. And things happen in the way they are meant to happen. And the full moon now assisting us and you releasing some things for us, we can already feel this. And in this awareness and you're reclaiming your consciousness as seraphim, you were given the ancient ascension blueprint. And this is what you're bringing forth and teaching now. Tell us about that. Yes. So so just so a brief overview of, of, of who the seraphim actually are and what the responsibility is, they basically are designed as the mightiest beings ever that's that were created within the universe. Um, And they are, um, they appear in the cosmology as the highest ascended teachers available for mentoring us in how to actually embody our sovereign divinity because they are known as the creators. They are the original creators of the divine human species. They have created worlds, universes, and species. And um, the set up an order program that, that they've been being brought forth now um, was taught in ancient mystery schools thousands of years ago. Um, basically, what they did was they initiated masters and teachers um, so that they could embody the, the um, you know, their golden light body as creators. And then they also are known to initiate beings before ordaining them as ascended masters. So before any being becomes an ascended master, they initially go through this initiations to receive a golden light body. And then they are ordained to become ascended masters. So that already in in and of itself can tell you the majestic power of, of the seraphim. They are embodiments of source and they reside within the light of source that where source is, they surround the light of God, the, the light of source in essence. And so they um, basically, why are they coming forward at this time? They, they realize now that humanity has basically moved into a huge period of change on all levels. Um, yeah. There's been a huge social phenomenon that's, that's never existed in our species with regards to the global lockdown and the global pause, which has basically moved us into economical uncertainty. And this is just some of the aspects of this extraordinary time that we are living in. And Mm -hmm. so the from angels are aware that the planet has reached a certain point of of cosmic resurrection. In other words, the planet has gone through a completion of a cosmic cycle. And um, they usually only step forward or make themselves known um, to humanity at certain levels of advancement. So humanity has now graduated to the next level of evolution. And this is now the the reason why they have come forward to basically assist us in stepping into the next golden age of our embodiment. That is so beautiful. Okay, we've made it. You know, about a year ago, people were having dreams of reliving their graduation. 
And that was yes. indicative of what you just spoke of. We've graduated mm. to a new level. Are we all to be like seraphim angels or were we all seraphim angels? When I first received the dharma that I was a seraphim angel, that, that that was my first incarnation or my first embodiment, uh -huh. I kind of had to release the label of that because that was just yes. one aspect of myself. Okay. And then I had then seen after, after I had um, my experience with the seraphim angel, as a seraphim angel, I'd incarnated on, on planet Sirius, on Pleiades, um, it, during the time of Atlantis, as a teacher, as a healer, as a master, as a synod master. There were so many lifetimes that I'm living or currently living because it, it isn't really past and, 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 and future, there's just now. Um, so in multiple parallel lives, I'm living different embodiments of source and so so are many of the listeners today a lot of them are old old souls so that so they've lived many lifetimes some people might say oh i'm a syrian star seed or i'm a pleiadian star seed but that might just be the most recent or the most relevant one to them at that stage at that point in time but many of us have lived multiple um, incarnations as various star seeds, as various angelic beings. The seraphim are, they're only on the highest level. Um, I, mean, I mean, I'm referring to the level of hierarchy. They're only on there because they are the most, the oldest uh, in beings of, that was ever created. So they've been here uh, the beginning of time. They've created this planet called Earth. They created these species. They created um, the star seeds. They created all these different universes. Um, but what the message for us is today is that we are as they are. They want to remind us now to claim that truth so that we can begin to speak miracles, command miracles, create miracles, because that is the truth of who we are. We are literally just source embodied in human form. And for most of us, we, lim we limit ourselves because we attach ourselves to certain labels and certain conditioned um, uh, or, or names or name tags. Um, and because we do that, we sort of create a glass ceiling above us so where we can only reach a certain peak because we limit ourselves. But when we access um, the true nature that we are source in body, in form, in energy, and we claim that truth, we are then able to um, integrate that and that integration will then become our truth, our knowing. And when something is your truth, it, it, it ripples out into the rest of your, of your life. It ripples out into humanity. And you start to see the wonderful, amazing, miraculous changes in your life when you begin to claim the truth of who you are. And that is the main message that they bring forth today, is that what they are and who they are is what we already are. We just need to claim it and begin to embody it and begin to really um, be it in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds every single day. And when we do that, we will align ourselves to limitless potentialities, limitless possibilities. Oh, this is so beautiful. Just feel that. We can feel what that is. You have given us a great vision to behold. We are going to access the true nature of who we are. We're going to experience a process today. What needs to be done? We need to be initiated for the golden light body. Yes, yes, definitely. So, so what this program entails, it, it, it speaks a lot about the pain body. So for many of us, <clears throat> whether this is your, your first exploration of spirituality, whether you are already a healer and a teacher and a way shower, um, for many of us, we we have this belief that we need to try and raise our vibration. But what, what I'm being told is that we, our natural state is already a high vibration. So what we in essence need to do is we need to shift anything that prevents us from accessing our natural state, which is a high vibration. And this comes back to the pain body. And so what happens is for us on the spiritual path, we access a high vibration, we try to sustain and maintain that vibration. And the next morning we wake up and we are triggered by a comment or we are triggered by you know, our partner or something we've seen or something we've heard and we feel like we've just went five steps back. Yes. And this is because the pain body 
will constantly call us back into wholeness again. Anything that is out of alignment or anything that needs integration will always call you back so that you can um, face those aspects of yourself and bring some light to, the, to, to those shadow aspects of you. And, and, and the pain body itself, I will speak a bit about uh, specifically about the three lower chakras because um, I received this today. Um, but what I was being shown is, is that because we grew up in the matrix, we created various personality traits. So to basically engage with this reality. Um, but engaging with this reality so far has been with energies that have been superficial. So for most of us growing up, we have never really seen what a solid, uh, true, authentic being of light looks like. So I can remember I grew up and I didn't have a role model who was actually a true embodiment of source. Everything I saw around me was just superficial, was just man-made, and it was just conditioned. Um, and so for, for the majority of us, for the first 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of our lives, we have been living as an artificial self, a fragment of our true self. So imagine that our lower three chakras develop in the first 21 years of our life. And in the 21 years of our life, we learn what those foundation, what the, what the, uh, the core beliefs should be um, within those chakras. So the root chakra in the first seven years, we learn about the foundation of this reality. We learn about scarcity. We learn about fear and a lot of these programs that our parents are carrying and our society is carrying. And, um, and then these basically are ingrained and stained within our root chakra. And then we move up to puberty between seven and 14. There we are developing our sacral chakra. And so as we grow up in the false reality, these energies become degraded energies of sexuality. We, that we see on TV or maybe our parents never learned what the correct expression of divine sexuality even feels like. And then in addition to that, then we, we, we have encounters with sexual abuse and, and you know, those, those uh, traumatizing experiences. And so we learn these distortions during those years. And um, this then creates instability and holes within those chakras, in our foundation, in our root, in our anchor. And then when we move to ages 14 to 21, we are developing our solar plexus, which is our true sense of self. And um, because this is the center of ourselves, we grew up in this reality, basically having a false view of who we truly are. And that things that is not our soul, but have been ingrained into our soul, into our solar plexus. Um, and this might include beliefs like, I am not divine, or I am not worthy. Worthiness, uh, unworthiness is um, one of humanity's biggest core wounds. Um, that I am not enough, I'm not worthy. And so we then come up with these beliefs or these beliefs are ingrained into our solar plexus that I'm not worthy, I'm not abundant, I am not lovable. And all of these energies, which in effect in how we experience our lives. And so this, this is really what is coming in for us now as a collective, especially within the solar plexus. We are being called to really heal our pain bodies and most of our found foundational pain sits within the three lower chakras which then connects upwards to the higher chakras so imagine if we are a person who has extraordinary gifts and abilities and we have connections to other realms that we have powers and skills but our foundation our energetic center is completely unstable and false and insecure so then when this happens we begin to use our gifts and abilities um, and the energies within our foundation, our wounded child in, in essence, then alchemizes with these upper chakras and then, and then this becomes our pain body. And then we start to express those higher skills in a distorted way. So everything, all of our wonderful gifts and traits and skills and abilities coming from higher realms, coming from our true essence are then distorted because of our foundation that's being built on falsity, that's being built on illusions, that's being built on insecurity. And so this program basically deals with anything that's within the pain body, whether it's a sub subconscious belief, whether it's a, a trauma, uh, wounding, um, past life, um, uh, ancestral blockages, anything that stands in the way of you embodying your true essence is what they call the pain body. And we focus a lot on healing um, the pain body during the first few initiations, people in preparation 
for the embodiment and the receiving of your golden light body by the sixth initiation. So this is really deprogramming, de detoxifying from those, that programming, and we can feel that. Remove those pain bodies. And then yes. from there, it, you're open to those higher states of consciousness. Yes, when you, when you remove anything that is um, not in alignment with the truth of who you are, you yeah. automatically shift your vibration to a higher octave. You automatically access higher states of consciousness because that is your natural state. That is who you are at a soul level. And so it's not about um, disassociating from the aspects of you that are um, still in pain or that's still traumatized, but it's about bringing those aspects of you back into wholeness again, reminding those aspects of you who they truly are. And then when you are in your complete wholeness again, then you are able to truly embody the magnitude and the fullness of who you are. And when you claim yourself as that, um, you claiming yourself as that, you'll be able to fully embody that, not to a certain level, but to the fullest extent of that embodiment. Yes. Okay. Well, we took on a big task then because we knew we could do it on that soul level. We said, yeah. yep, we can do it. So then okay. healing this emotional pain body, it requires going multidimensional. Mm. How do we heal it multidimensionally? Well, this program actually does it for you. And so all the clearings and the healings and the activations in this program um, basically heals not only this aspect of you in this incarnation, but every single aspect of you in every other dimension, wherever an aspect of you exists, is being called back in, in, into wholeness again through this program. So it's really, it's really powerful because it takes your healing journey to the next level. It's not only going to be focusing on this year now, but everything that is interlinked with you, wherever you are in the multiverse. And so when you then receive your golden light body by the final initiation, the golden light body is in essence, all your lifetimes of mastery downloaded to you here in the now in this lifetime so that you can do the things that you came here to do so that you can embody that truth of you at the fullest extent yes yes at the fullest extent we would love to have an experience here to really of feel course. the beauty and the grandeur we're already feeling the beautiful seraphim okay so um if you can, I would just invite everyone just to lay down if they can. Um, if, if not, um, wherever you are, just place your hand on your heart just to center and ground your energy so that your, um, your heartbeat, your, the natural rhythm of your heart basically becomes your grounding rod, your equilibrium, your pathway home, you know, to your soul, to your sovereign divinity. And so go ahead now and just start taking some really nice deep breaths. Whatever way feels the most comfortable for you. You're just starting to sink into yourself, starting to melt into yourself and relax into your beautiful sacred body. Releasing any and all resistance that you feel anywhere in your field, anywhere in your body, in your hologram. I invite you now also, beloved, to to now ground or see yourself grounding into Mother Earth. But specifically, I'd like you to see yourself grounding into an element of the Earth that might be more supportive for you at this time. Whatever arises for you is perfect. I now invite you to begin letting go of the heaviness you might have been feeling today or the past while. You know, many of us are at stages in our journey where we feel we have tried everything and we've toiled and we've worked hard to shift the old. And for some of us, we feel we have not made huge progress. But today, I say, dear beloveds, do not fear. Do not be burdened, for these things are temporary. They are passing. And with your intention today, can and will be released. You have the ability, beloveds, and the power to speak miracles, to command miracles, to create miracles. And for each of you today, this transmission, this activation 
will bring in a miracle that will shift your reality I'm hearing over the next few days or weeks. Okay, just releasing now, just sinking even more deeply into yourself and just let, let go, let go of every single bit of resistance in your body, in your field. Just allowing yourself to melt into yourself now. And when you feel you can't go any deeper, let yourself go to that next level, to that next layer of depth and to trust in the divine genius that you are. I invite you now, beloveds, to still your mind, still your mind until there are no thoughts, focusing fully on that slight vibration in the very core of your body now. Just notice any sensations and colors or visions that come up for you at this time. Anywhere you feel yourself opening up in new and expansive ways, just pay attention to that. Feel that inclusiveness. Feel that your whole creation loves you and celebrates you in all ways. Feel the golden warmth of that truth. Beloveds, I ask you now to breathe in and out through your nose. Just to entrain yourself to focus on the breath. A wave of relaxation is going through your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Just breathe and allow. And so before we fully begin to bring the mighty seraphim in, we are just going to activate the beautiful, strong, Merkaba light body around you to define, to define your sovereign vortex of creation just to make your space a bit more pristine, welcoming in energies that are only in absolute resonance and accord with pure source, with the truth of your essence. The energies are coming in now, spinning these frequencies and codes powerfully now into your field, beloved, opening up your chakras and your energy centers wide to receive the light of pure source at the deepest core levels of your being, all the way down to your cellular structures. Your protons, your electrons, your cells, your cell membrane, your particles, your peptides, all dimensions of your energy, your biomorphic field, your holographic field, your cellular DNA, your genetics, your epigenetics, opening you up physically, mentally, emotionally to receive these light codes fully, wholly, and completely now. Just strengthening your aura now and your connection to the source of all that is, grounding in these codes solidly and opening the space to receive and integrate them fully into your heart and your mind and your body. Just balancing all your energies now, strengthening your spine, strengthening your heart line, which connects you through your central channel all the way up to infinite cosmic intelligence. Just feeling this energy starting to pour in now like a rich, powerful waterfall, like a non-ending stream of abundance, basking in this absolutely glorious energies of the divine now. Receive, surrender as you've never surrendered before, beloved. And so now I will begin the invocation. Dear Source and Holy High Seraphim, we call upon your presence both within us and around us to fall fresh upon us, to remind us of how easy miracles can be, to remind us of who we innately are. And so I'd like to begin and invoke our circle of guides, our mentors, our, al our allies today. And I'm calling in the Seraphim who is allied with me um, as well as Source. First, really, beloved, just, just feel in this moment, just feel like what it feels like to be in their presence, mirroring to us the truth of our own. Surrounding you now in this beautiful Christ light as they are flying in now, feeling their mighty presence, anchoring in now the highest frequencies of light, surrounding you absolute grace. And I invite you to visualize this beautiful circle of light surrounding you now. And you are at the center of the circle. So you might see lines of 
light extending from you towards the outer circumference of the circle. I'm just going to invoke the Ascended Masters now to join us in the circle of light. I'd also like to welcome Archangel Raphael, Michael, Archangel Jophiel, Shemuel, and Metatron, as well as the Pleiadian and Syrian Archangels. But in the center of the circle, I welcome the presence of your higher self, the beautiful Christ light of your soul that is descending into this world from your own oversoul. Your oversoul is the unlimited hologram of God consciousness that you were birthed to be. It goes on forever. It is formless. It is nothing and it is everything. It is immovable. It is unshakable. The seraphim are stepping forward now. And there is a seraph for each of you here today, approaching you with the most loving nature. The majestic wings are open wide, extending up to the heavens. Oh, beloveds, a glorious light now descends upon you. Just feel the countenance of this energy. Feel the countenance of this love, of this presence, that which is you. You are even welcome now to just open your arms, beloved, and receive this deep embrace that the divine wants to give you right now. Right now, I'm going to guide you to the space where source exists. And if you are unfamiliar with this place, this is the place in the multiverse where there's no form, where there's only light and nothing. The realm of pure creation where source and a holy choir of seraphim exists. And we can recreate what we visually want to see there, but you'll know you're there because source is the only light and the nothingness. So let's just take this little journey together to make sure that all of us that listens to this will meet there. Remembering now, beloveds, that everything you need comes from that place, the original source, the absolute womb of creation. Right now, you will begin ascending. And as you begin ascending upward, you begin ascending faster than the speed of light. You're going to come to the very edge of this universe. And you're going to start traveling through different tiers of light, different worlds of light. Going through the fourth plane now. Going through the fifth plane now. Don't get caught up in those worlds. They have nothing to offer you. Where we are going is to the heavenly source. We are going to hit the sixth plane now. This is where the laws of form are governed. I need you to travel right through the realm of form, going straight through and past it. Going past the seventh plane. Eighth. Ninth. The tenth. Going through the 11th plane. And now I invite you to visualize a door of light that's opening up for you now. Just feel yourself, visualize yourself uh, flying alongside the angels through the door of light into an ocean of magnificent light. We are here, beloveds. You may start to feel your skin tingle or the cells in your body tingle. You may start to feel lighter. You may start to feel the electrons in your body begin to orbit faster. Just feel yourself immersed into that ocean of light. Just dissolve completely into the light. Feeling so loved and cared for. Everything makes sense here. There is absolutely nothing but divine love here. Many of you are beginning to be initiated now. You're being restored right now. I'm seeing a lot of energy being released, a lot of energy being released that has been happening all day already. And this is to help you operate on the next level. And each of us are being upgraded now. Just allow, just allow what, whatever releases and activations to happen at this moment. And I'm getting DNA being activated, pineal activation. I'm seeing a number of blocks being cleared right now, as much as your soul can allow, I'm hearing, under the, under the direction of your higher self. Everything you don't need to consciously know about is being released in this moment, right now. 
Just open your hearts and minds to the most glorious healing and transformation, beloveds. And as we are doing this, I'm hearing that we are shifting to a higher timeline. Each one of you are shifting to another higher timeline specific for you. There's a set of now that steps behind each of you now, beside each of you now, to offer you a gift. Just take a moment to receive this gift from the Seraphim. It might be different for all of you, but in your mind's eye or through feeling or knowing or hearing, just perceive now what this gift for you is. You might get a visual or a symbol, or just an inner knowing or a sensation or a word. They're saying that this gift, or this blessing will shift a part of your life within the next seven days. Just fully, fully surrender as you've never surrendered before to this knowing now, beloved. The one thing that everyone needs to remember right now, I'm hearing, is that everything in your life is not as it seems. We are truly creators and the world we see around us is merely a projection of the world inside of us. Focusing on the eternal self is the only solution. And the only solution to happiness is full embodiment of your divine self. Anything less than that will leave you still searching, will leave you reaching. Nothing in your external life can fill that part of you that is eternal. Streams upon streams now of golden light cleansing and encompassing you now, beloved. And as much as you could receive in this moment, you have, you have received. And more shall be taking place as you continue to receive the great offering being brought to you at this time. All right, there's some uh, light um, sound, uh, light codes wanting to come through right now. Allow yourself to feel the love that's being immersed on you now, beloved. Just going a little bit deeper, they're busy in the back, in the subconscious. You may feel this in the physical back. Just allow the breath to carry the density and going a bit deeper now. Intensifying, I feel, around the heart chakra. Just allow the release of the heart. Allow the release. Just feel that flowing out of your heart, chest area now, please. For some, it's out of the throat and the crown. Remembering who you are now, beloved. Transmission wants to come through. <clears throat> Transmission. Yes, we are here. What a glorious day for us to join in unison, beloved. We speak to you today to say but a few words. Words or rather remembrances, as it were for you to be activated with this already in a knowing of who and what you are. We come from the temple of the seraphim of source, beloved, bringing the special attunement that you have called unto yourselves today. 
that you may know yourselves on a level much greater than ever before, quickening you now to become fully realized in your divinity as a being of great love, of great wisdom, and of great compassion. And we say to you now that the reason for your existence in this life, in all lives that you have lived, will live, and are living, is purely for you to experience yourself as the creator creating, as source God, the creatrix of all life, we have sent you, sent you all into the physical form that God might know itself experientially as all that God knows itself conceptually. And this exists for you the same, beloved, as you are that, you are God. You experience that we are one, yet in your everyday lives, you choose not to believe this. Now, you might think that we have created you, but we tell you now that you are creating God, recreating God anew over and over again. This is our very reason for being. Beloved, you are splendid. You are powerful. Do you know that? Do you trust that? Now we say to you, Proclaim the divinity of who and what you are. But we want to tell you also this, that if you want to embark on this path of knowing, embodiment and mastery of your true essence and continue to release and heal all that no longer serves you, you can create this healing now in manifestation. You can ask for it now. You can command it now within this powerful container which we have created in this moment. And to the degree that you are willing to open these floodgates to heal yourself, you will manifest this. And if you so choose this, you are going to have to unblock and remove the mechanisms in place that prevents you from moving forward and healing yourself. But you can do this quite easily now. So we ask you, beloved, would you now be willing to align yourself to the possibility of recreating yourself anew and completely surrender all that is untrue now? And anything that stands in the way of your full healing to now be cleared completely in safety, in love and in absolute peace, are you ready, beloved, to truly surrender everything that is un untrue and false to the God self which is you? Are you willing, beloved, to truly commit to yourself through love, self-love, self-compassion and self-transformation? If you affirm this, you set into motion the passage of energy release and beliefs that is required to bring this into manifestation. Beloveds, we are going to align now the time portals and create a time portal where you can receive so much in this very moment. In this time portal, we can administer to you far more than you can ever receive in one moment because the time calls for your rapid expansion now, beloved. Activate, activate, activating the light codes of prosperity and of knowing of healing within the tapestry of your being, every single cell and in every organ and in every light body now that you may have everything you need to fill your divine plan. Using the source light now, beloved, to cut any and all cords of attachment tying you to other people, events, situations, places that may be draining your energy. We are cutting the cords now, pulling up the roots and calling upon the gentle elements of rain and wind to wash away any residue of negativity, of doubt and discord. Now, any and all energy that is rightfully yours, that has been drained by others consciously or unconsciously, returns to you in a golden spiral of light now. Breathe, beloveds. Relax and sense this return of your light, your vitality and vibrant energy as it is now being rewoven into your energetic fields. And now we administer the white light of purity to surround you in a cocoon, in a bubble. And this is a level of protective energy as well as a restoration of your life force energy 
just feel your energy and awareness expand now as you are embraced in this white light and know that you are safe. For within your shield of white light and without protective energy, all that is not love is immediately dissolved and released into the light. Feel the truth of this as you vibrate at the level of love. You are loved, beloved. You are always loved. You are always supported. We have never left you. We love you. And so it is done, beloved. It is done. Blessings to you, dear ones, in gratitude for your presence, in the light of your I am presence. We bless you and we thank you. All right. Everybody can just come back into your bodies now. And whenever you feel ready, you can open your eyes and just come back to the now moment, to this present moment of awareness. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> that was so incredibly beautiful and exquisite. Ooh. I have never gone so deep. The healing was tremendous. Yeah, that was what, <laughs> powerful. That, what a beautiful gift for everyone in this now moment. So incredibly powerful, empowering, timely. Wow, I just want to share my experience. And Rihanna, I want to say I'm still like way out there. Um, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> You're allowed to be out there. I, I need to come back to my body, but you, you can be out there. That's fine. <laughs> I just want to share. I know that I am not the only one experiencing such a beautiful release there, feeling the oneness and feeling this great light. Wow. I love that line the seraphim brought through. You are creating God within ourselves, yes. within our life. Yes, yes. When I yes. first got that, when I first awoken and I got that, it, it, it made so much sense to me that we are constantly recreating God over and over. It's not that it created us. We are creating that essence over and over again as a collective, as a humanity, as, uh, you know, within the multiverse. So we're constantly recreating God or source, constantly day in and day out. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful message. My mind is so clear. I don't even want to disturb this with thoughts. I want to share for people's um, own perspective as well, because I know I'm not alone. The tears that came in two different spots, just a beautiful mm. remembrance of this light that wow. is within us. I mean, I saw a river of diamond light. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that and, was powerful. Oh. It was everything powerful. led up, everything led up to this moment, to this point, and I've been feeling it all week, and it's <laughs> it's just perfect. It's perfect for every single person that is going to be called to listen to this. It's exactly what is needed now on your individual journeys, and it's going to propel you. I'm telling yes. you, the shifts, the shifts that is going to be happening over the next few days and weeks, it's paramount. I can't even I can't even explain. It's 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 amazing. Yeah, Fighting. and my whole body, I have goosebumps all over my whole body, my head, my arms. It's crazy. I want to yeah, share. You've, you've been up-leveled. You've been up-leveled I... <laughs> major. It's like you're on a completely different timeline now. You've just left the timeline that you were on uh, earlier, and you are on a, on a, a much greater, uh, in alignment with a much higher vibrational timeline now. So you can now access more of your mastery, more of that limitless potentiality and possibilities for you in this life. It's absolutely beautiful. And everyone who's listening, that has been the same. Everyone has up-leveled. I want to share like what I experienced in that meditation, but I cannot get beyond <laughs> what happened earlier this week. And I want to talk about that because that's exactly what you're sharing Things happen for a reason. And my ego mind started to beat myself up. I was like, how in the world could I schedule two shows on the same day? How could that even <laughs> possibly happen? But here we are in a pre-recorded session, which to be honest, 
I could not have gone so deep had we been doing this live in the way that it was meant to be. And that in itself is a gift. Mm. And, and the fact that it's here on a full moon for this great illumination, that is remarkable. I mean, I've been up in the middle of the night for the last few nights mm. in preparation for this, what we did yes. today in this session. Yes. It was a lot of the work on the solar plexus, but in today's session, wow, this up-leveling for me personally just accelerated something so great it's a bridge to the light that definitely is yes. yeah that was not felt before and i can't say how beautiful that is and so <laughs> just and so next week i so i'm taking the next 7 to 10 days and not doing anything i'm Good. integrating and yes. that is why this is the last show before we go on encore isn't that amazing? That is perfect. That is divine timing. That is absolutely what is needing to be, be done right now. Just complete integration. And can you imagine how powerful this program will be? Oh, wonderful. And I want to share, here's another part of the process. When the seraphim were giving their transmission, are you really ready to recreate a new and surrender mm. and surrender? And when I surrendered, I felt my root chakra fortified and strong. It felt like, wow, like your stance in martial arts where you're strong. <laughs> I, yes, I can, oh, I can imagine that. <laughs> I mean, this, is, this, is, this has been extremely powerful. I cannot even express it in words because I've, the set of them have been building this up within me, you know, up until this day. And the, the, the program itself, is just if not more powerful because you really get to go deeper on a much deeper level and be initiated um so it's, yes. it's divine timing and it's absolutely beautiful oh oh my gosh this was so wonderful i'm going to be a part of your program i'm going to be a part of that as well and i hope you that, are welcome yes i you hope are, everyone yeah. This is the next level for all of those who are really ready to accelerate. What we yes. witnessed right here in this episode, it was the first of many initiations. Mm -hmm. yes. Truly for our glory. This is our time in this year of 2020, now soon to be 2021. Game on mm -hmm. and the magnificence for our light just to surrender into it, to be inspired with the solutions to be inspired with the next step the actions to take to know that we are creating miracles by mm. being this light that's huge wow okay so let's talk about your program because you've got a couple of options here let's talk about the seraphim order Okay, perfect. So, yeah, so the, the, the first package, um, package A, the set of order program, this package basically consists of 12 um, audios or 12 MP3s. Um, and so you also get a pre-audio uh, PDF workbook. Um, and this workbook is basically, um, it prepares your body for, for multidimensional release. And it, it prepares, it, it allows things within the subconscious to then come to the forefront. So that by the time you do the initiations, um, you, you are ready to release the most deepest held um, wounds or blockages or beliefs from your system. Um, and so the questions in this workbook might seem a bit simple. However, it has been designed by the Holy Seraphim um, to prepare your field and initiate you um, so that your soul can, you know, begin embodying and releasing the old. Because when you, when you go through the initiations, um, that is going to, each initiation prepares you for the next, for the next, for the next. And so as you go through it, more is being released. Millennia of wounding, of trauma, of beliefs will be released during this program. And so then we go to um, the first audio, which is a multidimensional declaration of sovereignty. Um, this is a very powerful um, audio because this allows you to claim the truth of who you are. Um, it's not just about saying or stating I am source. Um, it's, it's you are being held in such a powerful container that um, 
when you declare this or do this declaration of sovereignty, you are doing it from the highest aspect of yourself. And from this higher aspect, you are then you are then able to really and truly begin embodying that truth. For most of us, when we when we come from the aspect of the small self, and we say I am source, we're coming from a limited um, perspective or a limited space of point of view, and then we're not able to truly embody the things that we say. But in this program, in this audio. You are really, you are really being held in a high vibrational frequency in a container that whatever you declare in this audio actually manifests um, within your reality. And so this is the beginning, and it's a wonderful um, preparation for you to receive the following initiations. Um, and then we've got the set from source code initiation um, level one. That is um, the I am. So this attunes you to the seraphim angelic frequency because that frequency is so powerful and so high um, they basically take you up into the dimensions where they exist where source exists and they attune you with certain ascension codes um, so that your body can uh, prepare itself for the for the powerful initiations to come and then when we go to uh, source code two, this is um, the source code for healing your physical and emotional pain bodies, your relationships, every single thing that has, that has been ingrained or stained within your pain body, as far as physical disease or emotional or mental pain is released during this source code. Um, and then also with, with each source code, you receive a blessing from a specific set of so with this uh, source code, you get a blessing from the set of, of purity. And then um, it's the third source code, uh, level three, um, is the source code of releasing subconscious limiting beliefs and untruths. Um, this releases your limiting beliefs, your subconscious mind, not only, not only in this lifetime, but multidimensionally, wherever an aspect of you exists, this is going to be released on, on that level. Um, we basically speak directly to your subconscious mind, allowing all those deeply held beliefs to, to be released and then replacing those beliefs with the highest truths of your divinity. And then this is where the setup of truth will also um, be giving you a blessing. Um, the next uh, source code um, four is source code of sacred geometry. Um, and this is where you are downloaded with three sacred geometric symbols of magnetic light. Um, this is being given by the Seraph as well as um, Archangel Metatron. Um, you will be receiving a blessing from the Seraph of Wisdom here as well. And that basically just allows the, the divine wisdom and knowledge um, and remembrance of your divine wisdom and knowledge to be embodied throughout all of your being throughout your cells, within your subconscious mind, every place that you exist so that you can remember the truth of who you are. And then the next, um, the next source code is five, which is the Seraphim source code for miracle manifestation. And so this basically harmonizing with your multidimensional self and your soul's blueprint allows you to then access all of your individual gifts and abilities and then it propels in such a high vibrational state so that you can begin to speak miracles and create miracles and embody miracles as a divine sovereign creator um, you will receive a blessing here from the set of, of blessings as well the next initiation is the the final uh, initiation the final uh, set of from source code for the golden light body activation um, this basically gives you the rites of passage to enter the temple of the seraphim. Um, and usually they only let beings enter the temple if they are completely purified. So the build up to this is a complete purification of your, of your, of everything that is untrue and false within you. So that when you get to this um, initiation, you enter the temple of the seraphim. And this is where they then activate your dormant DNA. They create and download to you, your, to you your golden light body with the mighty set of L, who brings through the diamond light codes and activating your remembrance and the fullness of who you are. Um, music notes will be placed in your throat by the set of song. This is powerful, powerful activation. Wow. And um, then you, you'll be receiving the celestial star, um, which will 
which is above the crown or above the 12th chakra, this will, once you receive that, the initiation will be complete. Um, and the final initiation is from the mother of all creation, um, the Sedefayal. And um, they will be giving you your golden light body, which is a culmination of all your lifetimes of mastery. As I've mentioned before, they ordain and initiate beings before becoming ascended masters. Can you imagine the power of this program um, and the um, level of release, the level of activation, the level of remembrance when you decide to truly surrender to that truth of who you are? And then it's just a little bit of a bonus. Um, uh, which is a short set of um, angelic light language transmission. Um, and then you also get lifetime access to my VIP uh, Facebook group, um, support group community. And that is priceless because here I'll be popping on um, quite often and, and doing live readings and live activations. And just if you know, if you need a bit of guidance on while you're doing the set of them or the program, this is where you can ask those questions if you need further guidance or insights. Um, so you get lifetime access to that. You also get six sacred attuned holy seraphim mandalas. So this you can use on your phone or your iPad as a, as a, a wallpaper or screensaver. Um, this basically creates a field of protective energy and grace to surround you completely. Um, you can also use this for meditation, um, but it's in, infused with light codes of the, of the seraphim um, angelic frequencies. Um, which will constantly and effortlessly lift you into the divine fields of limitless grace, limitless grace and transformation. So if you wake up in the morning and you're not feeling yourself, just look at this mandala, any one of them, whichever calls to you, and it will immediately raise your, free, your vibrational frequency to its natural state, aligning you to the truth of who you are. Um, and then you obviously you'll get a, another bonus, which is a PDF copy of my best-selling book, You Are the Creator, where I tell a bit about my story there, as well as there is um, um, activations and processes and tools and channel texts with the Ascended Masters. And then you also get 21 days of Seraphim Remote Healing. This is all in package A. So for 21 days, I will... Um, do a transmission directly from the temple of the seraphim um, to allow you to download higher dimensional light codes and frequencies for that 21 days. Whatever is needed for you um, to align every aspect of your life in accordance with your soul's desire for you um, can occur during this period because you'll be held in a wonderful container for 21 days and the set of more personally mentor and guide you for those 21 days as well. In addition to that, um, I've added my another short course. It's integrating to a wholeness course. It includes four MP3 audios. I recommend doing this before you do the set of order program because this is a nice build up to that. Yeah, we get to release a lot more, basically integrating um, all separate, um, how can I say, all, all uh, um, fractured aspects of you back into wholeness again. Um, um, so this is, this is another powerful uh, short program, which is gifted to you as well. And that would be it for package A. Package B um, includes all of that and a live two-hour group webinar. Um, where we will deliver a final transmission to fully anchor and integrate um, this golden light body and whatever our other guidance and activations will come through during that session with the seraphim, um, we will also be doing. Um, I will also be activating the vibrations of the seraphim source sound, which was created even before there was energy. First there was sound and then there was energy. So this is powerful. This will be, this will be done during the two hour live group webinar. Um, and you'll also get an opportunity to ask your uh, questions, um, if you have any questions um, during this uh, session as well. And then package C is everything in A and B plus a 60 minute personal session with myself where we can go extremely deep if you're looking for, if, if there's something specific that you're wanting to, to release or to embody or to activate. Um, here we go very deep. And as, as always, I'll bring in the Seraphim um, source. I'll bring in the Ascended Masters, my entire team 
of, of, of light beams um, into this private session if you are called to do that. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> this is a, an incredible package, a great value for all that you're offering here. This is all on the special offer link. When you click on that, you'll see all of those items. Wow, my goodness. It is an incredible program. You are very generous. $97 for the program. And then, of course, the option with the webinar is so beautiful for the, the sounds. Your, your singing is angelic. The toning is totally angelic. And a personal 60-minute will just be a really great way to accelerate the entire process as well and mm. really tune to our individual blueprints with your added insight as well. Very special and very powerful. And then you've got the offer four, which is very interesting. This is for those in mentorship training. This is where all of us feeling called can even step up on a whole new level. Tell us yes. about the Seraphim mentorship training. Yes, so this is um, six, six weekly group calls. It's a mentorship training with the Holy High Seraphim of Source. And it starts 9th of January um, to 13th of February. Um, and so what this is, is that each week we go through each initiation. Um, it's an opportunity for initiates to be mentored and trained by directly by the Holy Seraphim on a much deeper level. Um, and so each week, like I said, we go through each source code um, and we receive further upgrades and further elevation on our own individual paths of ascension and embodiment. And this intimate mentorship basically will allow for much more rapid transformation because the golden light body takes time to integrate, to be embodied. Um, this will mm -hmm. completely accelerate your embodiment journey on your ascension, on your ascension path. And um, after these activations, there will be a definite and permanent change within your emotional and physical structure. It is extremely powerful. I was... Um, when I created this program with the Seraphim, they wanted me to add this in because they said that this is this is for those that are called to really step up in their mastery, for those that are actually wanting to put themselves out there in a much bigger way on a global scale, who is really ready to embody that ascended mastery of, 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 the, of the soul. And so if you're called to, this will just be a wonderful bonus um, acceleration on your specific uh, journey and because it's intimate um, I get to focus on each individual more you know more intimately and we can go much deeper because it's not going to be a, a huge group it's going to be an intimate group so we're going to be dealing with a lot here and it's, it's I'm excited for that so if you call to that you can sign up for that that includes package A, B, C um, everything if you if you sign up for this one you get all of the packages in this one package. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Again, in our shopping cart, there's an option for a two payment if that helps our participants take part in that. So that is beautiful. Well, are you ready to embody ascended mastery of your soul? Mm. Wow. I want to thank the Seraphim for bringing this forward in all of the beautiful transmissions the singing that and the tones that came through were so angelic. It really took us to that golden light of source. Mm. What I experienced was more light in my body. That's, mm. that's what it is. And that's what this is doing. When we're talking about bringing in light to our body, everyone, this is what it is. And I'm sure that everyone felt this. So please go back and listen to this Again, listen to the process again. If you were not able to lay down and truly surrender, please do so. What a gift in this episode today. And this is so powerful. We are, you know, we are immune now. It feels like there's an immunity oh. to the chaos around us, mm. to the collective. Exactly. There's an exactly. immunity. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, definitely. You're spot on with that. <laughs> you are spot on with that. 
definitely. Oh, well, you might think that this intimate group, it might be a little bit bigger than you imagined, but we'll deal with that um, as it comes along, because I know many people are going to be jumping on this beautiful opportunity. Wow, so special. It feels so wonderful. And we're looking forward for everyone to who, who is called to this, who really feels it, who feels that soul mm. calling to take this opportunity. I loved our episode and we're going to have you back um, before you start your mentorship training and you can do some intuitive readings for everybody as well. So stay oh, tuned, absolutely. everyone. Yay. Absolutely. Yay. <laughs> Well, Rihanna, everyone is uplifted, more light on the planet. Things have shifted. Timelines have shifted. As we say goodbye, I want to give you a moment to close for us. I'm just thankful and honored to have been able to be of service today, to be able to be the murderer for everyone, to see themselves and feel their soul today. I... Uh, it's been absolutely amazing and there's been major shifts that have occurred today and you will have experienced this when you do when you listen to this you will know for sure and if you are called to really step into your mastery if you're called to if you are committed to unbecoming everything that is not true this program is for you and I look forward to coming back. I look forward to connecting with you and your community again. It was an absolute treat. It was an absolute pleasure and I'm so blessed and thank you so much for having me. Rihanna Arends, thank you, thank you, thank you for this incredible, uplifting, high vibrational quantum conversation. Namaste. And now it's time to dance our way to the cosmic heart. And in this episode, we're listening to plant music with the intention of cooperation. Thank you for listening to this quantum conversation and thank you for dancing with us to the cosmic heart. As we raise our own vibration, we raise the vibration of the planet. This show is dedicated to you and all awakening hearts as we are here to shine our bright light and amplify our love. Access all quantum conversations, special offers from our guests, and online healing retreats by visiting AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey, and from my sacred heart to yours, I honor your magnificent love and light. We leave you now with music from the universe, music literally created by the universe as musical notes were assigned to mathematical equations. The result is this beautiful music 
available at AcousticHealth.com. Namaste.